بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ڈیئر سٹوڈنٹس السلام علیکم و رحمت اللہ وبرکاتہ ہوپ ایوری باڈی ویل بی فائن اینڈ فٹ ٹوڈے اور ٹاپک از ریگارڈنگ ٹو دا بانڈس اینڈ ڈفرینٹ ٹائپس آف دا بانڈس بفور گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکسڈ دا ٹاپک سو وٹ ڈز اٹ مین بائی بانڈ بانڈ از وٹ Bond is a debt instrument in which an investor loans money to an entity and that entity will be corporate or government in a business or government so that borrow of the funds from a defined period of the time at a fixed interest rate. So that debt instrument is called bonds. Bond is a type, keep in mind, that is a debt instrument. Debt instrument means when investor make investment in the bonds, so ownership right is not given to him or her. Just only bond holder is given interest, fixed interest. And when the maturity of the bond is completing, so government or corporate, which they issue, you know, the issuing authority will take back the bond and giving the bond amount to investors. So shortly we can define the bond that bond is a debt instrument or security which is issued by government or corporate sector to generate funds. This is a sources of generating funds. When company need funds, so they issued bonds or if government they have shortage of some funds, some money, they are facing budget deficits. So they issued bonds and that is those bonds named as treasury bonds. So bonds are commonly referred to a fixed income security. Bonds is also called fixed income security. Why? Fixed interest rate that is given to bond holder from the side of the issuer till the maturity. Like if ABC company issued a bond to Mr. A. So the bond maturity that will be fixed for five year let's suppose and interest rate will also be fixed. Let's suppose on 10% ABC company issued a bond to, a comp uh, to Mr. A. Till five years ABC company every year will issue the fixed interest 10% on their face value to investors and when five year is complete so company will call back this bond and will give the bond amounts to the investors that's why bond is also called fixed income security means the fixed interest that is given on the bond Normally coupon is paid after six months in America. Some companies they are pay coupon means interest. So normally company they are giving interest semi annually. Some company are giving quarterly. Some companies are giving annually. It depends upon the company policies. So bond is a debt instrument which is issued by corporation or government to generate funds on fixed interest rate for fixed period of time. Clear or not clear? So hope you will understand the definition of the bond. Now the questions come in a mind that why a corporation issued bond instead of taking loan why not corporation take loan why they issued bonds to generate funds so there are some reason some technical points that due to that the corporation prefer to issue bond not to take loan first one corporation can't issue any more debts until the bank loan is completely paid like if a corporation take already take loan from the bank so they don't have the right 
to issued any debts instrument like commercial paper, like certificates of the deposit, like bonds. So here they will be stuck until and unless they will pay back the loan so completely and after that they are allowed to issued bonds to issued other debts instrument. So one reason is that one. Second one reason is they can't participate in any share offering until the bank loan is paid. If a corporation already take loan from the bank. So they don't have the right to participate in any share offering. They don't have the right to issue the shares in the market, to issue common shares or to issue preferred share to generate funds. So for that purpose, what's corporation is preferring to issue bonds neither to take loan from the investors, uh, from the financial institutions. Like look at if, if my company they are taking loan from the bank of 1 million dollar and I want to generate further funds by issuing common stock or preferred stock. So until and unless I am not returned back the full loan amount, so I don't have the right that I should issue the common stock or preferred stock. I should in, in, in that sense I will issue the um, common stock or preferred stock when I pay fully the loan amount. The third one reason is that company can't acquire any company until the bank loan is paid. Like if I want to acquire another one company but there is a loan from the side of the bank on my company so I don't have the right to acquire a company. Acquire means taking another one company fully shares 100% shares and kick out them from the market. So if there is a loan on me on my company so I don't have the right to acquire another one company shares. So there is a restriction now. What I should do? First I will pay my full loan back. Then I have the right to acquire another company shares or another one company. That is third one reason. Fourth one reason that why corporation they are issued bond and not issue or not taking loan. That the company maintain certain liquidity level like current ratio. So for that these are the four major reasons that due to this companies are preferring to issue the debts instruments like bonds and not accept it in shape of loan from the banks or other financial institutions. Hope a bit idea will be clear. They Another one reason they can't obtain another loan from other banks until and unless the permissions taken by the bank etc. If I take loan from one bank and now I want to take loan from another one bank so there is restrictions on me. What? The other bank will told me first pay the first bank loan and after then you have the right to take loan from me. Otherwise if you not pay back the loan of the first bank so we will not give you the loan. Or another one situation take permission from your first bank if they are allowed so then in that situation we will give you loan. So one reason is this one sometimes may have control over certain activities of the business. So for that reason like we are taking loan from the banks so they interfere make interfering in our business activity in the corporate business activity. So that's why corporation is preferred to issue bonds instead of taking loan from other institutions.
feed now we will discuss the types of the bonds that what are the main types of the bonds first one is federal bond or this is also called government bond federal bond is a bond in which investor received a promises from the side of the federal government to repay the principal amount as well as any interest that has occurred by the maturity date of the bond look at federal bond is a bond which is issued by government federal government and in which situation federal government they are issuing when they are facing some budget deficits or when the government they are facing some need of money or funds so in that time the government issued this type of the bond to compensate their budget deficits or some federal projects when they are needing so government issued this bond is this is governmental bond so the government promises the investors that when the maturity of this bond is completed so the invested amount with interest will be returned to the investors look at the interest rate on this bond is low why is this is issued by government so low risk is involved here zero you know too much less risky this bond that's why government is also issuing or this bond on low interest rate due to less in, uh, risk so federal bonds are often used to finance federal projects and activities with the special benefits to the investor such as tax benefits no tax is deducted from the investors in this case government issued this debt instruments to raise the capital to raise the money so this type of the bond that is called words federal bonds or government bonds look at federal reserve bond that is issued by government clear so for what purpose for the federal projects when they needs money for the different projects and they have budget deficits or for the different activity so government they are issuing it as government is issued so their risk is low that's why less returns that is given from the side of the government next one is municipality bond municipal bond ya municipality bond this is a debt instrument that is issued by state or municipality to finance the capital expenditures municipality bonds have a bond which a municipal committee issue kai or municipal committee is governmental organization the super pass the para che agita the finance the fund zarurat we know that that is issued by municipality and in this way they are generating funds and use that funds in the capital expenditures and when the maturity is come back so municipal organization call back the bonds and give back that security to the government uh, to sorry the amount is given back to the investors and get back the municipal bond from them so municipal bond have some properties that that is ex exempted from the taxes no taxes will be charged on it and from most state and the local taxes local state taxes is also this is exempted you know no taxes that is charged from the side of the investors and especially if you live in the state in which bond that bond is issued so all type of the taxes that are exempted this is just like the government bond this is actually that is the government bond or so uh, interest rate on this bond is also very low because the risk of this bond is low corporate bonds 
corporate bond as its name indicates this is a bond which is issued by corporations corporation issued this bond when corporation needs of funds so they have the choices to issued bonds corporate bonds may be for the short terms medium terms as well as for the long terms fixed interest that is on such bonds are given but the interest rate as compared to government bond is too is high why because here is they are trading in the stock exchange or in the market so there is a risk risk is what that risk depends upon the performance of the corporation as well as demand and supply of the bond as well as in the market that's why as compared to governmental bonds the interest rate are higher in corporate bond as compared to other bonds other governmental bonds convertible bonds so convertible bonds are those bonds which is convert to words which is convert to equity stock that's why this bond is called convertible bond any means convertible is that type of the bond which an investor can convert to predetermined amount of the equity stock at the option of the corporation when the corporation wants so after some period of time bonds will be convert to common stock or equity stock and in advance that should be mentioned at the time when this type of the bond is issued so an agreement taken place between the corporation and investors that after some period of the time on the wish if the corporation want keep in mind so we can convert it your bonds the corporation told to make an agreement with the investor that we can convert your bonds to what's to the in to in shape of equity stock so this type of the bond is called convertible bond in a convertible bond is that bond which is convertible into equity stock we have different types of the convertible bonds like vanilla convertible bond uh, mandatory convertible bonds reverse convertible bonds etc callable bond or redeemable bond so callable bond is that type of the bond which is that can be redeemed or call back by issuer prior to maturity in a before the maturity the issuer can call back it usually a premium is paid to the bond owner when the bond is called back means let's suppose the bond price is 90 so that should be called on more than 90 this is called premium amount the main cause uh, cause of the calling of this bond is decline in the interest rate if the interest rate has declined since the company first issue it so it will likely that to be that now like look at i have give you the example that before 5 years i issue my company issue a bond on 10% now the market rate interest rate is 7% so it means that now the price is the interest rate is going downward but i am paying 10% interest so in this situation what i should do the company should call back this bond and issued this again this bond on 7% current market interest rate so the, such bond which is callable redeemable after some period of time that type of the bond is called callable bond junk bond another one junk bond is called fallen angels or risky bond junk bond is issued by a corporation 
when they are near to bankruptcy situations. So for that time, the jug bond is issued by a corporation to parts to safeguard their self. Jug bond is high risky. The risk of the jug bond is too much high. That is why the interest rate is also offered on this bond is too much high. The junk bond is a type of the bond which is issued by worst performing company. And if the performance is not good, but still they seize chances to recover their self. And they think that if we got the capital, so we will recover th that capital. For that purpose, company issuing junk bond. Junk bond is also known as high yield bond. Why? High interest that is offered on such bond. So, risky investor, risk taker investor make investment in junk bond. Yes, that is also called speculative bond. The interest rate are 4 percent, 5 percent more than the normal bond. So, that is also called high returns bond as well as. Next one type of the bond is angel bond. So, angel bond is that bond which is issued by stable financially company. Those company they are issued who are financially stable. So, angel bonds are investment grade bond that pay lower interest rate because the issuing company is have high credit rating. Their credit rating are too much high. They pay back their credits on time and they are so they have well reputation in the market and when they have good reputation in the market, so there is a too much demand of such bond in the market. That is why they issued their such bond due to high demand with low interest rate. This angel bond is totally opposite from the junk bond or fallen bonds. Secured bond and unsecured bonds and debentures. This is another one type. So, secured bond is a bond which is issued by a corporation and is properly backed up by assets. Means when the corporation issue it, so against that corporation keeps some securities. Clear? So, that bond is called secured bond. So, if some company liquidates then back up the asset will be sold out and payment will be given to bond holders. Why? Against those bonds, the company have some security in shape of assets. So, when the company liquidate, company will sold out those assets and will compensate the bond holders. Unsecured bond is a type of the bond which is issued by corporation, but is not backed up by any asset. In a against issuing of this, the company not keeping any kind of the security. So, this is called unsecured bond. This is an unsecured bond. Normally, most credit worthy corporation are allowed to issue this type of the bonds. In a those corporation whose credit rating are high, so they are allowed to issue this type of the uh, bonds, unsecured bond. The venture bond cheers, the venture bond is a bond that is unsecured and debenture and same because both of them are not backed up by any assets. But in event of liquidation priority will be given to unsecured bond holders and then to the debenture holders. Clear? So, debenture bond is just like that is an unsecured bond, but in type of the liquidation 
preference is given to them. So hope you will understand dear students the bonds that what is bond and what is the different types of the bonds. If you have any questions so you can contact with me. Till then Allah Hafiz.